Hello dear students, welcome to the session. In this video, uh, I will continue to explain about those incomes which are not uh, regarded as incomes chargeable under section 28. As you know, we are discussing about the income from business and profession. Uh, in the previous video, I have explained those specific incomes which are chargeable to tax under section 28 as income from business and profession. So, in this, we will be learning about the incomes which are not chargeable under section 28. Uh, there are incomes and or types of incomes which cannot be recorded as income from business and profession. These incomes look like income from business. Okay. Somewhere they are related to income from business or business activities or professional activities. But uh, income tax department feels or decides that these categories of incomes are better recorded under other heads of incomes than income from business and profession. So, there is a list of, there is a small list of uh, incomes uh, which are not to be charged under section 28 for business income or professional income. So, uh, these are the items, uh, these are the uh, uh, list of incomes which are not chargeable to section 28. Number one is rent from house property. So, you know uh, when a person is involved in uh, constructing of residential house properties and giving it on rent and earning rental income. So, <coughs> it is better suited to record that income as income from house property than income from business and profession. Though the activity of this individual looks like a business activity, such incomes are uh, to be recorded as income from house property as per the income tax act. So, though the activity looks like business, it will not be shown as income from business and profession that will be shown as income from house property. Okay. So, that is the first possibility and the second one is dividend on shares. So, as an individual, if you have invested your money in the shares of any corporate companies, okay, uh, the income you earn in the form of dividends, definitely a source of income to you and that income is coming from a business entity. Okay. And uh, because of the reason it is coming from a business entity, you cannot record that income as your income from business and profession. You might have received that income from a business house, a business entity or from a company, but it is not your business. Okay, You have invested in others business. Okay, So, the dividend whatever you receive from shares is to be recorded as income from other sources, not income from business and profession. So, that is why chargeability of income tells us that any income received in the form of dividend on shares should not be shown as business income. It should be shown as uh, income from other sources under section 56. And the next one is winnings from lotteries or races, etc. These are the incomes which are recorded or, or uh, decided as the incomes, casual incomes. So, these casual incomes are to be shown or recorded under section 56. Again, these incomes cannot be shown as income from business and profession. It is not just about winning from lotteries or races. There are incomes which are of similar in nature. These are mainly of gambling in nature. It may be card games, dice games or any other of such nature. Okay. So, there is a specific head for recording these incomes. Okay. So, if a person is totally, completely involved in doing these type of activities and earning incomes from these regular sources. Actually, these are not the regular sources, but if he is involved in earning these incomes regularly, still it will not be regarded or recorded as business incomes. It will be shown or recorded as income from other sources because that source is specifically suited for these type of incomes. And next one comes exempted income by virtue of section 10, 11 or 13A. There are incomes, uh, there is a separate section uh, that is section 10 which is known as tax free income or exempted income. So, under section 10 the incomes which are exempted under section 11 the incomes which are exempted or section 13a which are exempted though it belong to the source of earning income from business they are exempted they cannot be shown as income from section 28 or uh, business or professional income i repeat these are the incomes which are already exempted but they have close connection with earning business income or professional incomes okay uh, by virtue of section 10, 11 or 13a, they cannot be recorded as income from business or profession as they are exempted, uh, let there be exempted. 
don't record these incomes under section 10 uh, don't record these incomes under section 28 okay so this is the fourth category of income which is not to be charged under section 28 for business and profession and some taxable under the head capital gains similarly just like other uh, incomes what we have recorded here there are certain incomes which are suitable to be taxed under uh, business because of the nature but actually uh, they can be recorded under head capital gains okay uh, as we know there are five heads of incomes under income tax act of 1961 incomes will have connection or incomes will have uh, different nature okay sometime sometimes it looks as income from business sometimes it looks as income from other sources sometimes it looks as income from uh, house property but for the purpose of convenience and for the purpose of filing returns clear classifications have been made and the list is being provided and as per the list some which are taxable under capital gains or any incomes which you generate by sale of any assets though those uh, those assets fall under the head business the assets which are the result of business activity but when you sell those assets it results in the profit and that profit cannot be shown as business profits because those assets are capital in nature the profits whatever you make better to show those incomes or the incomes you have earned as capital gains okay so that's why this point is added under the act some taxable under the head capital gains so these are the five important categories of incomes i conclude these are the five categories of incomes specifically these incomes looks as because of the connection as business incomes but better to show these incomes specifically under other heads some are suitable under house property some are suitable under capital gains some are under income from other sources and some are exempt okay so though these incomes have business connection these incomes will not be recorded under section 28 these incomes will be recorded under other respective heads okay so with this the list of incomes which are not chargeable under section 28 is over in the next video we will come up with a new topic with uh, more information until then thank you